Hello everyone! I'm making this video today talking about mid to plus size fall fashion. So if you're new to my channel, I say mid to plus size because I am a 12 to 14. I wear size large to extra large in tops and 12 to 14 in jeans and dresses. Now plus size at some stores starts at size 10 and up. In some departments within stores, it's anything above a 2X or like double XL is considered standard size and then 2X and above will be is considered plus size. Um, and it just depends on the store, the place, the brand and the fit. So um, I give fashion recommendations for both and I just want to talk about what I plan to wear now that fall is underway. We are in October. These are just some ideas for things that I'm going to wear, maybe just some pumpkin patches, um, a couple of fall activities. I know I have a movie night with friends coming up, a fall themed game night where we're not dressing in costume, but we're dressing spooky and Halloween-y. And just some things that I'm gonna be doing with my family. Most of it is outdoors, but there are a couple indoor activities. And so here is what I'm wearing. I'm just starting in this sweater. It's a cable knit, but it has this little twist in the front that I love. And what I love especially about it is that it has this little V right here, but it covers the rest so I can still pull off kind of a tucked look here. It's like the knit ends, but it's going to cover my hips and hip dips and I'm just a big fan. It's a little thicker, well thick for here in California, but it is perfect this time of year and I am pairing it with some neutral tone boots and cuff jeans. These are Levi wedgie jeans that are my absolute favorite wash and fit. And this is just a simple fall outfit. Okay, so this is the time of year where I'm pulling more warm tone things to the center of my closet. I have all different clothes that I'm going to wear for more formal settings and more casual, all within my color palette. And there is so much I can do with these, just using these as my um, as the base color for my outfits that I can then build on and accessorize according to the occasion. So for my fall color palette, I have cream, charcoal, taupe, rust, and gray. And here are all of my pieces that I'm going to pull first when I go to create outfits for all different occasions throughout the fall. So I talk about what I have here laid out. So my dresses, except for this is a mini skirt, cream, taupe and black, black dress. I have my jackets. This is my rust jacket boyfriend blazer that is gray with black and in detail plaid leather jacket. I also have leather pants and you'll see how I style those. I have my graphic tees here which are always fun to throw on and then I have my other tops. So basic cream and black striped tee, lace trimmed rust cami, cream colored t-shirt, black mock neck, taupe Dalmatian print, and black leather with lace. Of course my boots, leopard, is not necessarily in my color palette, but it does have black and it is fun for styling and it goes well with everything that I'm going to be trying on today. I have my various cardigans and also my pullover sweater and then even my basics, my tank tops that I wear either under clothes or just with a jacket as a top on its own are in this fall color palette that I have chosen. So let's dive in and see how some of these look on. So something very casual and easy, I might wear this rust colored duster cardigan along with this cream and black striped shirt. And I will probably keep on these same jeans and these boots. So I have something super simple and casual. I might wear this for a day of shopping, maybe Target, run errands and things like that. Um, I might wear this with a gold necklace or some gold huggy earrings. And I love a long cardigan because it has a very slimming um, long line function. So it's kind of hide the widest part of my thigh here and do a simple front tuck, but keep it kind of still loose so that it doesn't look um, overly stretched or skin tight. And this is my first simple outfit. I might keep these beige colored boots on or I could pair them with my rust ankle boots, but if you're not into super matchy matchy, this might be too much. And you might just want to stick with a neutral simple booty. And we're going to be doing something outdoors. I could take the same base outfit, jeans, t-shirt, and boots, 
and throw on a shacket instead. Now I'm not big on flannels because <laughs> I think I look a little too lumberjacky with them, but I think they look beautiful on so many people and so many people can rock them. So the shacket is the alternative that I go with. It's a little thicker than my cardigans and it still has this kind of loose boxy fit, but I again have the long lines. Even though it's not as slimming and straight, it is still going to conceal the widest part. And I just love the outdoorsy look. And my favorite part of this is the buttons. You can see the detail here. I think this is a really nice choice for maybe like a hayride or a bonfire. <clears throat> um, I might even wear this apple picking. It just depends on the activity. And I definitely want to be outdoors with this type of... Now I want to talk about leather. Now... Leather is something I really only wear this time of year. A, because the temperature, I wouldn't wear this in summer because it's just gonna be hot and sticky and not breathable at all. And I also think this time of year around Halloween is when I can most pull off things that are a little more vampy. So I have leather pants, leather jacket, and leather bustier top, as well as a leather dress that I like to style for events and occasions this time of year. So first off, just simply this leather jacket. It is a boyfriend blazer cut, and I think just throwing it on kind of takes a casual top and makes it a little dressier. Um, I might wear a nicer necklace or some earrings, and here I have a nice jeans and a top outfit simply by adding a leather jacket. Another way for the leather jacket for evenings where you would want to wear jeans and a nice top, I have this taupe colored cami, some black boots, throw my leather on and jeans, and you're set. Okay, this is the leather bustier cami top. You might see this and think that is not for me too out there, but there are ways you can tone it down and you're not so edgy when you wear it. So here I have it paired with my favorite plaid boyfriend blazer. This one I got last fall and it was a huge staple that I gravitated towards outfit after outfit, but I think it just tones down the outfit. It looks a little more, not professional, but a little uh, more dressy. And I would wear this probably out for a night with friends. When I want to rock something out of my norm, I would put on this. I also plan to wear it for a Halloween game night that I'm going to, or I'm going to kind of dress a little spooky, do some lashes, some dark makeup. And I have this, it's hard to see, but I have a pair instead with my black chunky heel boots rather than my neutral tone beige ones. Again, a little bit edgy, but toned down with the blazer. Alternatively, I might wear it with a little bit looser of a tan cardigan and my leopard ankle boots. <laughs> not taking down the edge too much, but it's also not overkill on the outfit. I don't have double leather on or anything like that. And I think it's workable. Styling leather pants. These happen to be paper bag waist with a bow tie belt. And I'm just gonna wear a rust colored top for one option. This is long sleeve. I love the balance that this creates. It has kind of wider pockets that stick out, but it kind of fakes an hourglass shape nicely. And here I have on my rust boots. And this is just a simple outfit. Again, gold jewelry. I would probably carry a black bag to stay in line with my color palette. But now I am someone who loves to mix masculine and feminine pieces together. So I typically do not wear two masculine skewing pieces. This Boyfriend blazer, very boxy, shoulder padded, masculine. And these pants, I think, are a little masculine. Um, just the way with the drop waist and everything. But if I wanted to, I could put these together. And within my color palette, I have a gray rust and black colored outfit. Another option would be this Dalmatian print. It is taupe with black detail. Dalmatian is like, looks like this. It's not quite leopard or not quite cheetah. A little more randomized, but it is taupe. Here, have it paired with my paper bag, waist leathers again, and still have some of that balance going on. Okay, and then I have this dress, lace and leather again together, which I just love. It has vampy, spooky, Halloween vibes. I love the pleated skirt, and I think it is just such a flattering fit. I tend to not wear things that bisect in the direct middle or lower than the stomach, but I think up here it just conceals the apple shape and it is such a fun, versatile dress. 
All right, now I want to talk about dresses. I have a few that I go for every fall. This one is left over from my LuLaRoe craze. If you took part in that about four or five years ago, this is the Julia dress. I still have it. I've got rid of all my loud patterned ones, but this one is such a neutral classic. I love the vertical stripes as opposed to horizontal. And I might pair this with a boyfriend blazer and some boots or some um, sling back of my flats. Or I have other options um, for what jacket I could wear. Let's check it out with my rust cardigan. It is not the most forgiving dress if you've ever tried this silhouette. So I do like to pair it with something long line if I'm wearing it. I like the sleeve length of it though. It does help with the arms, but I could wear this. Rust with the taupe and the black. It is the same length as the dress, which I like. I like to wear it bunched up rather than pulled down to kind of conceal here. And it holds nicely if you are gonna modify the dress at all. So that is one thing LuLaRoe did well. You can modify things with hair ties or just fold it very easily. And so that's why I hold on to this after all these years, might wear it with these boots. I could even go chunky black or nice thing black cream colored flats. Okay, now I have this plaid cami. You can see the base colors are cream and rust. And I would not wear this print any other season, any other time of year, but in the fall, this is a go-to for pumpkin patching, hay riding. And I'm gonna throw on my utility jacket here keep on my jeans. I have tan colored boots, very country inspired, and I would wear this outdoors for some sort of fall or nature activity. Okay, now I want to talk about graphic tees. These are my fall graphic tees I only wear this time of year. This one is actually a sweatshirt, but I have this cheetah print pumpkin that I got from Target and this pumpkin spice latte pattern that I got from Torrid. Now you can see there's orange, but taupe and cream colored, and then the shirt itself is gray. This one is black with orange pumpkin. And this one is like a taupe with coffee print on it. So every time I wear all three of these, I get so many compliments on them. People ask where I got them. Um, I don't know if I'm getting too old to kind of pull these off, but I think if you tie it together in an outfit, these are a great lazy day option and people love these. So here, my pumpkin spice latte one i would just pair it with a neutral cardigan neutral boot jeans and bam starbucks run target wherever this sweatshirt same thing i like the fit of it the graphics are just funny and i might throw my hair up lazy day lazy bun jeans and a sweatshirt and that's it and last but not least i have my pumpkin Cheetah print pumpkin, graphic tee. Would wear my black chunky heels with this. And I have a lot of options for what I can do as far as the jacket goes because the shirt itself is black. I might do cardigan like this, neutral. I might go with my rust colored, either, or, either jacket or cardigan, or even my leather jacket. It just depends, but I think it's fun. It's funny. And people always ask me where I got it from Target. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.